Hello and welcome to Flannel Jammies Farm. I'm so glad to see you here today. If this is your first visit, welcome. This is my YouTube channel for cross stitch and other assorted floss tube to doings. <laughs> if it's a, a return visit for you, welcome back. I'm so glad that you've decided to come back and join me today. So, I hope you all had a wonderful Independence Day. I had a great time. Our daughter Trista came down from New Hampshire and visited with us for my birthday week and reserved a corner suite at a hotel on the waterfront in downtown Norfolk. They do a fireworks display on the waterfront from a barge and so she was able to get us a corner suite where we could watch fireworks from the uh, joy of an air-conditioned room with a picture window and a balcony. So we could choose either to go outside on the balcony in the heat or just watch from the from the gorgeous view from the suite. It was fantastic. Um, I did a short video about where we were, but if you missed that, here's a couple of pictures here. So that was on July 4th. My birthday happened to be on Monday the 9th, and our son Robert drove down from Richmond to spend the day with me. It was such a great visit. We had lunch together, and we just chatted and relaxed. We went to the beach all afternoon. It was the perfect day for the beach. It wasn't too hot, it wasn't too cold, there was a great breeze. And here's a couple of shots of that here. So speaking of my birthday, I'm getting a little older <laughs> so I wanted to offer some tips for those of us who might be getting a little long in the tooth. Um, as we approach some older age and young ones, your time will come too, don't worry. Just some little tips that I've found make it a little easier for me. As we get older, sometimes we tend to get more medications or vitamins that we're taking every day, and sometimes it's kind of tough to keep track of them. I highly recommend the big pill container. <laughs> This is the one that I use, and it's color-coded morning, noon, evening, and bedtime. The compartments are really large, so it fits all of my tablets and capsules and supplements and everything that I take on a daily basis. If I fill this up once a week, I don't have to worry with every time I have to take something, kind of looking at my bottles and going, did I take that? I can't, I don't, is that what I take now? Oh, wait a minute, no, I need to take that in the evening. This is great, it's all set up. When I take it, if I've forgotten if I take it, I look at it and go, oh yeah, I took those. <laughs> it's a huge help, trust me. All right, also as we get older, we wanna take really good care of our feet. I have been suffering with some plantar fasciitis for a couple of different bouts of it. Most recently, I've been in a boot for over two months and so I've been going through physical therapy um, but I wear really good shoes. Um, the first time I got plantar fasciitis I had a stretch, stress fracture in my heel as well and my orthopedist said you need to wear good shoes. Sorry. Okay, 
But if we have to wear really good supportive shoes, they need to be fun, right? Now my orthopedist uh, suggested that I buy dance goes, which I tried on and they didn't work for me at all. They were incredibly uncomfortable and they felt really heavy to me. So I wear Allegria's and they feel like I don't have a shoe on. They work really well with my feet. But the other cool thing is they're adorable. I can get all kinds of colors and patterns and styles. So this is one pair. Um, love those. And I have, oh my gosh, this pair drives my pastor a little bit crazy. They're um, deep red patent like dinosaur skin. <laughs> I love them, they're awesome. I think they're really cool. They have a really cool button on the side. I really like these. Um, the other thing about Allegri is, is they have a little tiny butterfly on the side of each of the bottoms. I love that. And um, I, also, I have several pairs, but I also really like these little green boots. I mean, they've got buckles and they're green and a, like a woven suede as well as the smooth leather. Love these. I think they're really cool. So get good shoes, but don't lose your personality. Now I know we all want to be McKenna. We all want to wear those incredible shoes that McKenna got in Vegas. And I would love to, right? I can't do it. I can't. It's sad. So while I will live vicariously through her shoe purchases, I'll just continue to wear my cute, really good for my feet shoes. Oh well. <laughs> um, the other thing is my physical therapist suggested, this time when I got plantar fasciitis, um, my Achilles tendon was involved and I had some really bad knots in my calf and uh, they've been working on them for a few weeks and so she said you know you really need to get some compression socks <clears throat> oh so i had in my mind do you remember the movie 16 candles with molly ringwald and sam was turning 16 and her parents had come into uh, no her parents had forgotten her birthday but her grandparents had come into town so that they could be at the wedding of her sister that week so um, her grandma and grandpa were staying in her room and grandma had brought a hot water bottle, bottle for grandpa and they were kind of old and crotchety and grandma was wearing the white slip over the white bra and um, just she had on compression socks that were thick and gross and flesh colored and that's all I could think of when my physical therapist said this. But she said, don't worry, there are some really cute ones out there. So, here we go. I got polka dots on black. I love those. I got witchy poo stripes. <laughs> I love these socks. These are awesome. I got blue argyle. I mean, these are like blue, right? They're electric blue, but really cool. I got these kind of floral Celtic-y looking ones that I really like a lot. They're kind of gray. My favorite color is gray. I got lots of pairs. Those are just a few of them, um, but they're fun and they're cute. And if I have to wear something that's going to help my leg, I'm going to, I'm going to do it the cute way. Right? Right. So the next thing is don't be afraid to use a lighted magnifier for your stitching. I know, I know, we all wish we didn't have to, but sometimes you have to. I have one, it's made by Carson. I got it on Amazon. It was about 80 bucks, not a big deal. Comes with this base, it's this huge metal plate, but it's got um, kind of a recessed area for your scissors, your needles, needle minder, thing like, things like that. And this is, um, this is the lighted magnifier part. It's got a really long neck. It's battery operated or it has an AC adapter. And look at this, it's LED. It's got this whole ring of LED lights, really bright. Here's what I love. So you have the metal base, right? Put that on the table. 
It's a very strong magnet right here. <laughs> I love it. And it just stays. It's not going anywhere. And then you've got this long neck. So you can be doing your stitching and you're looking through your magnifier. It comes with actually two different lenses, two different magnifications. And you've got this whole ring of LED lights just making everything bright. I love this light so much. So I highly recommend it. Again, Carson, about $80 on Amazon. So just because I have all of these older person tips that I've shared with you today, doesn't mean that I'm dead quite yet. The other thing our daughter Trista did for my birthday, Trista is a travel professional and she does travel arrangements for some fairly famous people. And one of her clients was coming to town, Leonard Skinner. I have loved Leonard Skinner forever. Um, it's kind of the soundtrack of my youth. And they were coming to town on their farewell tour and they were with Cheap Trick and 38 Special and Fog Hat. So it was going to be a great show on a great summer evening. And so she was able to get us center stage orchestra seating and all access passes, which meant that we went everywhere. We were backstage. We parked back by the buses for the band. We, it, it was amazing. So here's a few pictures here. Yeah, so all access passes, all the fun, Trista rocks. That's all I have to say. <laughs> all right, let's talk about some floss tube to doings. I want to welcome to the world sweet darling baby Cash. Cash is the grandson of Priscilla and the son of Chelsea, and he's made his very first floss tube appearance. He was wonderful. He was very well polished and just was a natural on camera. <laughs> Chelsea, we are so happy for you and your family. And I would like to say that you looked better after having a baby than I look on most any day of my life. So you're amazing. Way to go, Mama. All right, next is the Floss Tube Cookbook. We, talk we talked about this in my last video a little bit, and I know you've seen it across Instagram and other people's videos here on Floss Tube. Um, Stitch and Misfits has been putting together a Floss Tube Cookbook. And it's a conglomeration of recipes from those of us who make floss tube videos and those of us who watch floss tube videos. So if you don't make videos, no problem. You're still a part of this community. Send in your recipes. Here's all you need to do. So you'll send a recipe. You'll include a short bio of yourself, including your Instagram name, and if you have one, a floss tube channel name, you'll send a little bit of info about why you chose that recipe. You know, it was my mother-in-law's recipe for goulash and it was my husband's favorite. 
or this is my children's favorite Christmas cookie recipe, or this is my go-to food when I've had a horrible day. Um, and lastly, you'll include a picture of yourself, and if you're a little bit camera shy, you can include a picture of the recipe or a picture of your favorite cross stitch finish. So you'll be sending those recipes to stitchinmisfits at gmail.com and I'll be linking that below. So no problem if you, if you didn't catch that. Um, now, I wanted to give a few charming mentions. I've been watching some new floss tubers and I have three that I want to mention today. The first one is Betsy at Bird Stitcher. Betsy's an attorney and um, she has some lovely stitches to show. She does the Know Your Needle Worker tag, um, tells us a little bit about herself. And when she gets to the part of uh, what's the word that you would use to best describe yourself, she chose the word silly, which I think is fantastic. Um, so go give Betsy a watch. Again, that's Bird Stitcher. And I'll be linking all those below. Um, Julie Susical Stitcher is the next one that I watched. She's a great fan of all things Dr. Seuss. She's a big collector of those things. And so you'll see them behind her as she's chatting. Um, she's an educator. She's been a vice principal and a principal and now works in the central office of her school district and actually educates educators, which is wonderful. She um, shows us her cross stitch, but she also shares a lot about her other crafting passions, which is really cool. So I'm glad I got to see those things. At the end of her video, she shares a time that she calls something to think about and she gives us a little moment of inspirational encouragement. So, the third one is To Die House. I know, like where did that come from? Well, Kathy at To Die House explains why. Kathy is in Northwest New Jersey, but she used to live in Pennsylvania and she lived in an old thread mill that was converted into apartments. And when they converted the building into apartments, there was a sign on the back of the building that said, To Die House. And it was a sign that helped the thread mill workers from many years ago learn which direction to go to get to the place where the threads were dyed. And so they left that sign there once they converted it to apartments. And it's really cool. Um, Kathy shows at the beginning of her video, her like intro frame is a photo of that sign and it's really awesome. She has some amazingly gorgeous stitches and I, I am right there with her. Um, really like the, the things that she's stitching and the way that she presents them. So go and give all three of these ladies a watch and a subscribe and uh, leave them a comment letting them know that you enjoy what they're doing and thanking them for their time. All right, I don't have any finished objects this week and I don't have any fully finished objects this week, but I do have some whips, so I'll show you those. I've made some more progress on my Stitch Along of Plum Street Samplers Friends of the Heart. This is the one that I'm doing with Ann Robbins and Pat Ryan and Donna Wynn and Andy of Nana's Needles. And so here it is. Oops. Stuck with my other one. <laughs> here it is. Friends of the Heart. And I've made some progress. I'm really, really pleased with it. Um, this is a beautiful pattern from Paulette at Plum Street Samplers. And I'm doing this one, remember, on a 32 count creme brulee from r, &R Reproductions. And I'm using mostly the called for threads. And after I finish the deer in the center, I'll only have one more page to go. So I'll be catching up with my friends, which is very exciting. So, friends of the heart. 
Next is um, a stitch along that I'm doing with, oh my gosh, so many people, uh, Lynette of Homesteading on the Homefront and Lori of Mischievous Stitches, uh, Stitcher 211 and Socks for Mom and Queen's Rook and Kim Goldman, lots of other people on Instagram. So there is a hashtag on Instagram. If you'd like to follow our progress or if you're doing this along with us and you post your progress, be sure to use the hashtag and it is Quaker Handwork S-A-L. So it's Quaker H-A-N-D-E-W-O-R-K-S-A-L. Okay? And here it is, Quaker Handwork. This is by Brenda Gervais. And I'll show it to you this way so you can see the pattern a little bit better. And then here's my progress on that, if I can get my thread out of the way. Here we go. I am loving this so, so much. I changed the colors. Um, the, the color for the berries and the bird were a little too rusty orange for me. So I changed it to a couple of more winey colored, uh, rosy toned Victorian Motto sampler shop threads. And I'm loving the way that it's coming out. It's on 36 count R&R Reproductions Stars Hollow linen. And it's just great. So, I also wanted to, since I mentioned Lynette at Homesteading on the Homefront, I wanted to give a quick welcome home to Stephen Lepper, Lynette's husband. He is back on the mainland and back in New England from Guam, and we are thrilled for the entire family that you're reunited again. So, welcome home, Stephen. And last but not least of my whips that I'm going to show you today is the Sally Spencer sampler from Birds of a Feather. I'm still working on this. I'm a little bit behind everybody else, but um, here it is. And I'm going to show you my progress. Here we go. This one's on a 36 count R&R Reproductions linen in the colorway Sea Fog. And um, I'm using all Gloriana silks. I just, you know, because silks, right? <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm also working on a couple of exchange pieces that I can't show you because I don't know if the recipients watch my videos or not. So, but you'll see them after they've been given out. Now, stitches coming soon. On my birthday, which was Monday, I was gonna start um, Marianne Raywood, Above the Sky, and this is from 1897 Schoolhouse Samplers, highly in. Um, I was gonna start this on my birthday, but there were so many to doings in the week leading up to my birthday that I just didn't have time to even put three stitches in. I didn't touch my stitching at all. So again, I have the fabric. This is a 32 count French vanilla from R&R Reproductions. I think that's gonna be gorgeous. So this will be started very, very soon. I love, love, love this pattern. And if you haven't seen any, um, Leanne has a couple of patterns out as 1897 Schoolhouse Samplers. Her design booklets are stunning, such great quality, and I really love them. Her second one out is Hearts of Flutter, and I adore it. It's just precious. So the next one that um, I'm going to be doing is, and it's from the Home for the Holidays book from Blackbird Designs. This starts, it's a stitch along that starts. September 1st and it's tis the season and it's this gorgeous cardinal um, pattern and it's shown here on the back it's stunning right I haven't chosen my fabric yet I'm actually going to uh, get my threads from Nancy Turner at Victorian Motto Sampler Shop Lynette was able to talk to Nancy and ask her to do for us a special floss pack for this pattern and Nancy was gracious enough to do that for us. So if you'd like to join along on this stitch along, again it's Tis the Season from Blackbird Designs and it starts September 1st. You can contact Nancy Turner by emailing her and I'll link her email below at Victoria Motto and she's got the entire sampler pack already after the 15th of July 
And so it will be all eight colors in her, you know, double size skeins. And then a second skein of the red for the cardinal because there's a lot of it used in the pattern. And that floss pack is $22 plus, plus postage. That is an unbelievable price and I am so thankful to Nancy for doing that for us. I've already ordered mine. Um, I've, I've emailed her and asked her for it. So um, I highly recommend that you do that if you want to join us on the Stitch Along. Lynette has started a Facebook group for this Stitch Along and it's called the Floss Tube 2018 Tis the Season Sal. I think. <laughs> I'll, I'll try to link that below as well. Um, and it's a great group where people are coming together and they're talking about where to get the pattern and which fabric they're using and which threads they're using. I'm going to get my threads in from Victoria Motto and then take them on over to Dying to Stitch and do a floss toss with all the R&R &R colors that I think might work. So, um, but join the group, join the sal. We'll be happy to have you. All right. Let's take a look at my magical arrivals, shopping bags, that kind of thing. The first thing that I got was I ordered from Ginger Gerald his three um, kind of old fashioned uh, architectural designs. And the first one was the uh, old fashioned windmill, right? And then the second one was the Old Fashioned Water Tower. And, you know, I saw them on Ginger Gerald's Etsy shop and I was waiting because I knew a third one was coming and he was waiting, he hadn't announced it yet. And I kept thinking, oh please, oh please, oh please, I hope it's a silo, oh please let it be a silo. And Ginger Gerald, thank you. It was a silo. So my daddy grew up here in Southwest Virginia in a town called Floyd. And his father farmed and his, you know, they had a homestead there in Floyd County. And so I'll show you them. This is my daddy's parents. So this is Pearl Rosabelle and this is Henry Lee. And so Henry Lee was farming one day and he fell down the grain silo and died. And so, um, you know, farming accidents happen. It's, it's just the way it is. And so my father's father died and left him with one brother who joined the Civil Conservation Corps. I think that's what they're called. Forgive me, I may be wrong. Um, building our national parks, building the Blue Ridge Parkway, that kind of thing. Well, his brother caught pneumonia while he was working and died. And so this left my father with a mother, a grandmother, and four sisters. <laughs> and daddy was a freckle-faced, red-haired little boy. And um, his sisters used to hold him down and curl his hair. And, you know, it was just hysterical. And that kind of turned him into this guy that you'll see in these pictures. So, yeah, he was a hoot. Um, but having this pattern of that silo to go along with these memories of Daddy's family was just so special. And Ginger Gerald, I thank you so much for um, doing these designs and, and holding on to a piece of our American heritage in, in earlier times. Okay, so the next thing that I got, Lynette showed this and, you know, I had to go get it. It's Peril on the Sea by Morning Glory Needleworks. And so I'll tell you the story. We lived in Iceland for three years. My husband's a Navy uh, retiree. And we lived in Iceland and we went to the Chapel of Light on the base every Sunday. And we sang some mixture of the umpteen verses of Eternal Father. 
and uh, you know the verse for those in peril on the sea. So um, this was really cool to get this. My children still groan every time Eternal Father comes on at, at church. If the organ starts playing Eternal Father, they just groan because we had to sing it every single week. So um, that's a really great one for us to have as a Navy family. Um, the next one that I got is from, I ordered it from Jen Stitching Nish, Nitch, Nish, Nitch. Uh, hi, Jen. <laughs> Ordered it from Jen Stitching Niche, and it's a uh, Purple Martin Apiary, and this was an exclusive at Jen's shop, um, and it's from Teresa at Shakespeare's Peddler, and Teresa was kind enough to send along with this chart a full alphabet so that I can change it to say Flannel Jammies Farm, or you can change it to say Jane Doe's Apiary, or John Doe's Bee Yard, or whatever you like. I thought it was really cute that Ms. Michelle G, Bendy Stitchy, um, talked about this particular chart and referred to an apiary as a bee living place. And you know, that's really pretty spot on. An apiary is a place where bees are kept, often in a, in a grouping of beehives or colonies. And it comes from the Latin um, apis for bee, and that became apiarium, and so that's where we get our modern day word apiary. And so uh, Tom and I often call it the bee yard, but yes, it's an apiary, and it is a place for bees. Okay, next, I ordered from Kitten Stitcher, her new website, have you been? Oh my gosh, Teresa, good job. Um, I ordered from her a couple of patterns, her antique locks and keys. And then the next piece, which is antique scissors and spools. And so I got both of them. I thought they'd be great little companion pieces, little smalls that I could do. So these are really lovely. Um, and lastly, I received in the mail uh, the July Victorian Motto Club Thread. Now I do the prim colors. And I do a set of six rather than a set of 12. And so I'll just show them to you. I'm sure everybody else is showing them too, but I think they're just gorgeous. What do you think? Nancy, you do such a great job um, dyeing these threads and keeping track of all the people who are signed up and getting these things out on time for us. Thank you so much. Let's talk about our gift away, shall we? So last video, I told you that you know, your generosity and your subscribing and your sharing about me had gotten this little channel of mine 2,500 plus subscribers. And so we had a little gift away and remember that was going to be, um, since it was 2,500, it was going to be this Stacy Nash design with December 25 on it. And so I had two people winning, and they were going to get not only the pattern, but also, I don't know if you can see it inside there, but a $25 gift certificate to Dying to Stitch, which is my local needlework store. But don't worry, if you win and you're not in our area, Ann and Pat are more than happy to ship. You just, once you get your gift card, you contact them, and um, they'll, be, they'll be willing to help you with whatever you want from the store, and then they'll ship it to you. And I'm going to cover your shipping costs so you get the full $25 to spend. I'm also going to tuck in a few little goodies just from Flannel Jamie's Farm, from, from my heart to yours. So, without any further ado, the winners of these two prizes are Laureen D., Congratulations, Laureen, and Leanne Mall. Congratulations, Leanne. If you all will contact me, I'm gonna put a comment on your comment, but if you'll also contact me by email, I'll put my email in the description of today's video, and if you email me your mailing address and all of your information, I'll be able to get these prizes out to you very quickly. Folks, I have so enjoyed our visit today. I had a lot to share with you, and you were just very kind to hang on this far. So I hope you all are having a wonderful, wonderful summer. It's been really hot here in Virginia, but we've had a couple of nice, cooler days. 
I hope that you're able to get out in the sunshine and enjoy your family and all of the summer traditions that you hold dear. Remember to be kind to one another. Remember to hold your family members and your friends very close. And my friends, as always, I invite you to be the grace and the kindness that you want to see in our world. Bye-bye. If I just say the words, is that enough to make them true? If I just say the words, we well, you know that I love you. I try to open up my heart so that you can see the truth. If I just say the 